This is Ashford Power, a 21 megawatt electricity generating station situated on the King's North Industrial Estate in Kent. This is what's commonly regarded as a peaking plant. So instead of running all the time providing base load, it provides electricity to the grid at times of peak demand. When not in operation, the plant sits on standby, but is kept at a high level of readiness such that it can be called and made to be fully operational in less than two minutes. The plant consists of 14 engine houses, each containing a large reciprocating engine coupled to a three-phase electrical generator. These engines are internal combustion engines that we're generally all familiar with, albeit significantly larger and burning mains natural gas instead of petrol or diesel. For a fossil fuel, the carbon content of gas is relatively low. These peaking plant will run for 1,500 to 2,000 hours a year, so their run times are pretty low. Wind and solar are intermittent, and that means there is increasing pressure at times of peak demand on prices. This plant works by turning on when prices are high and turning off when prices are low. The generators produce AC electricity, which is synchronized with the local grid and exported to the distribution network. This is a fully automated, unmanned site. It is monitored and controlled remotely and designed to be dispatched at the click of a button. This was a full turnkey design and build project for Clark Energy. Clark Energy were also the principal contractor for this project. We delivered the project in a 40 week programme, on time and on budget. Clark Energy's national service coverage, UK's parts holding and high quality design and installation will ensure the safe and reliable operation of this site for at least the next 20 years. These peaking plants enable a more sustained response to provide peak power when the grid needs it most. We believe it is a renewables enabling plant. Plants like these and the flexibility that these plants provide is going to be crucial to supporting and underpinning the rollout of more offshore wind and this transition to a low carbon economy.